Hey everybody, here we are, uh, Shad, myself, and Keaton. We are in the car and I'm not gonna cry, but we're going to the doctor. <laughs> um, so the last you guys saw was I was supposed to take this medicine that was supposed to make everything come out, right? That was on Tuesday night. So I took the medicine about nine o'clock within a couple of hours well okay between two and six hours is when you were really supposed to feel everything I guess and by 12 hours everything should be out well after a couple hours yes I totally was feeling cramps and um, basically I was up all night with like a horrible pain like literally like labor pains um, I almost woke up Shad and was like I need to go to the emergency room. I was taking um, Advil, but it wasn't helping. Um, it was really bad. I just kind of laid there and I could just, I don't know if you heard me, I could just make little like moaning sounds. And it was, it was just really, really bad. But with all of that, I, I wasn't bleeding. So as far as I know, nothing came out. So. I did fall asleep between about six and eight that on Wednesday morning. And when I woke up, I was like, I really don't have very many cramps. I'm still not bleeding really, just very little. And so I was, I had a second dose of that medicine that I was supposed to take after 12 hours if it didn't work. So nine o'clock in the morning, I took another dose and still nothing. I could feel like the cramps coming but they never mounted to anything I maybe was bleeding a little bit more but nothing really nothing like the nurse said there would be or what I read online would happen besides the pain the first night um, yeah there just wasn't anything as far as I could tell so yesterday afternoon I call my doctor and I told them and they were like okay we need you to come in tomorrow to talk to the doctor and discuss the DNC so it's so what I was trying to avoid and partly it's like selfish of me because you guys it is ridiculous like it really really makes me mad that we had to pay like three thousand dollars for a DNC when we had Keaton it was, we didn't have to pay that even that much to have a baby. My insurance is really good. Um, so to have a baby, it didn't even cost that much. So here we are, get told that maybe your baby doesn't have a heartbeat. Let's wait a week and find out. A super stressful week, right? And then we find out for sure, no, there's no heartbeat. And then to find out that you have to pay $3,000 to like get everything out, like, that's so stressful. It pisses me off. Obama didn't do anything about health care. Trump isn't doing anything about health care. It's all the same. Nothing has changed. Something needs to change because it's ridiculous and makes me really mad. So, <laughs> not to be political, but come on. Like, somebody get their act together and figure this out because it's just not right. I can't imagine people that have, like, like long-term illnesses and have to deal with insurance companies all the time. Like, how... Or if you get diagnosed with cancer and you have to deal with your insurance, like, I just can't even imagine. I can't. So, freaking fix the problem because it makes me really mad. Um, people, I'm like shaking. <laughs> people shouldn't have to deal with that in like times of crisis and whatever. So, I know it'll all work out. But then I told Chad today, I said, you know what? Maybe I was really in so much pain on Tuesday that maybe stuff did come out and I was just kind of delirious and didn't realize it I'm so I'm hoping that I'll go to the doctor today and she'll do an ultrasound and maybe everything will be out <clears throat> and and I won't have to do a DNC I know that doing a DNC you make sure that you know er, that everything is like cleaned out and it's very minimal risk it does scare me to be put under but I know it's a standard surgery thing but you know I already took a couple days off of work um, thinking that well just with this whole mess and 
Like now if I have to take off a couple more for the DNC, like that just stresses me out. I don't have time to take more time off of work. And so anyway, that's what's going on. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving though, you guys. And I just want to be able to enjoy it. We're going to go to Costco after we go to the doctor. And if you know me, I you know how much I love Costco. Um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they have the mashed potatoes because uh, they are delicious, like real mashed potatoes. Aren't they good? Yeah, we're going to get like six buckets of it. <laughs> and then tonight, or this evening, sometime early evening, Kennedy and I are going to brave the grocery store and go to Fred Meyer. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> so we have some baking to do tonight, and I just want this to be a Thanksgiving and a good weekend. We're going to do some fun Christmas stuff this weekend. Um, of course, we'll bring you guys along. Oh, and I don't have makeup on right now, but don't worry, I'm putting it on before we get to the doctor. I didn't realize it was so late, and I was on my phone, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's 10.30, we gotta go, and I hadn't even showered. And Anyway, so I'm just really excited. I I just want this, this whole process over with. This has just been nothing but like a waiting game and I just I just want it done with so we can move on and of course you got I just thank you thank you thank you I said this the other day but we we're just getting more amazing sweet love and comments from you guys and thank you for your stories and sharing your experiences and just loving on us um, when we get home I will show you what a special delivery that I got yesterday um, and so yeah but let's come to the doctor and come to Costco with us and let's just try to have fun okay, yeah. okay here we are back in the doctor's office she's not having me get undressed I was hoping maybe they would do an ultrasound but you know so far that's not the plan so I'm just staring at a big picture of the female pr reproductive system. Yeah. It's pretty graphic. I know. I was, I was there and I was like, oh. And I was like, okay. I'll look at this way. I'm not going to show you. So there's stuff over there just in case I'm going to get undressed. But now we're waiting for the doctor. You know, through this whole process, I've never even talked to the doctor. Not once. It's always been the nurse. So this will be the first time I've seen the doctor. We'll tell you what she says. Okay, you guys. Update time. Uh, Shad and I just had a little bit of a fight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I... I'm still working on this how to be a good supportive husband thing. So, um, any of you got tips out there, let me know. Um... Basically, I knew that the doctor would say like a DNC would be the best thing. I knew going in that that would be the plan. So basically, it's scheduled for Tuesday. Um, but work wise, it just that doesn't work for me. So I'm gonna. Um, she did say we could just see if naturally if it would come out. She did say she could give me another prescription for those pills. But I'm thinking, holy crap, that was a nightmare. And if it's not going to work, I don't want to go through the pain again. Um, but she said if it didn't work with the two doses, the chances are it's not going to work. Um, I, that's just me. My body's stupid. and Or this baby just loves me and doesn't want to leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, she did say we could just wait like two or three weeks and maybe it would pass naturally. But then also I have that fear of being at work and having... The damn break. Yeah. <laughs> um... Which would be horrifying, you know, if I'm in a meeting or at a job site or I just, oh, I don't know. So anyway, I'm actually going to see if they can reschedule it. Maybe they have an opening on Friday. Even Thursday and Friday would be better. But if it was on Friday, I could have Friday off and I just take that day off. Shad and I are good now. Um, I mean, it's just, we don't know what we're doing, yeah, you know, and it's stressful. It's so hard. We have a busy Wednesday, Thursday, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, then Friday's fun Christmas Day and Saturday and it sucks that you have to deal with this and but I feel totally fine right now and we're at Costco so we're moving on like I can put this out of my mind for a few days aka Krista's happy place yeah Costco. yeah I think we might have to renew our membership today oh 
That's not fun when they tack that on to the end of your already big Costco bill. What a big Costco <laughs> bill? I don't know how big it'll be, but it won't be very big. <laughs> we have to save our money for a DNC. Um, <coughs> anyway, come into Costco with us, you guys. Let's go check out what fun samples they have. It's crazy busy. We're parked clear out in the boonies of the parking lot. Yeah, we're basically on the freeway. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't care. It's the holidays and I just want to have fun and enjoy it. Dang it. Okay? Deal. So you guys too. No matter what crap you're going through. Whatever. It all ends. Right. It all your, ends. You're by and yourself. You're with family. And you know, we'll be with Chris's family. I'm a little sad that I'm not going to be with my family tomorrow. Um, we miss them. And uh, thank you guys for being there with us. Okay. First things first is lunch. This is kind of cool. I dig it. <laughs> um, one berry Sunday. That's good, right? Yeah. Okay. I want a drink though. Oh yeah, and uh, drink. Cheapest lunch ever. What'd you get? A pizza and ice cream. <laughs> pizza and ice cream. What'd you get? A hot dog. I got pizza. Is it good? Sometimes the hot dog doesn't fill me up, but because Krista and Keith need all the Sunday, it's fine. No, you can have some. Have some, but I'm hoping there's going to be some samples out there. <laughs> and we'll have leftover pizza for you. I'm leaving a little bit of room. <laughs> I don't know. I just got really scared. I bit down in the pizza, and I felt something hard, and I got scared that maybe I'd broken a tooth. Actually, I thought maybe I. Bit something that I wasn't supposed to bite, and then I thought, well, crap, maybe it was a tooth. And I look down, and I'm feeling <laughs> that's what I bit down on. <laughs> I don't know how. Okay, you guys, they're out of the mashed potatoes. They're sold out. Crap. What do we do? Well, you know I'm not making them. <laughs> do you think another Costco would have them? Possibly. I lost them. They're looking for me. They don't know I'm behind them. I see them. I've been following you. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Well, here, let's scoot over to the side. <laughs> it's the last one. Pull She's pulling the cart. What? Isn't that cute? It is. It's the last one. This is what happens when the Costco worker doesn't give her a smiley face on the receipt. Tears. Real tears. All right, so Shad and Keaton and I braved Costco earlier today. Now, us girls are braving Fred Meyer cross. There's a car coming. We're braving the grocery store at 6 p.m. the night before Thanksgiving. We might be crazy. Like so Kennedy stuff. is baking her first pie and we need flour. Okay, sure, go ahead. All right. Keaton's got flour. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you looking for? I don't know. Do you need apples for apple crisp? What are the best apples for apple crisp? Okay, I think we got the last container, container, the last bag of frozen corn. I'm not even kidding. I need to check my list. Checking it twice. Are you tired? Mm -hmm. You act tired. Okay, we survived the store. We're home. I think we got everything. If we didn't, we're going without. But uh, we have a lot of food. We always do this. So uh, my mom and Keddy are baking. We have uh, pie stuff going on here. Uh, we're gonna make fruit salad. Oh wait, you're making an apple crisp and a banana cream pie. My mom is making cherry pie. And I cheated, well, okay, we wanted a chocolate cream pie, but both times we went to Fred Meyer, they were, I'm not gonna bake it or make one. So they were completely sold out of Marie Callender's chocolate cream pies. So I got an Oreo pie. Is that okay, mom? Yeah. That's all they had. And I think it was the last one, huh, Kennedy? So, because I'm not a pie person. I like cheesecake 
and like pie with like a cookie crust. But I don't like pie crust. So anyway, we got a chocolate cream pie because that's that's what I like for dessert because I'm not going to eat pie. So, um, But this is the first time that Kennedy is making a pie. Are you nervous? No. You're not? You're all getting prepared. Yeah, I should have done this before, but... <laughs> You're wearing gloves. Because I have a lot of cuts on my hands. Oh, well that's good that you're covering them because that would yeah. be gross. <laughs> okay, well, we're excited to see the outcome of your pie. Yup. And you're actually baking the banana cream pie, huh? There's some leftover uh, crust that you want to make cinnamon <gasps> stuff. Oh yeah, we want cinnamon stuff. I don't think it's baked. Oh, you're not baking it? Does it have egg in it? Oh, oh wait, yes it does. Okay, so yes, you're baking it. it. Yeah. Okay. Banana cream pie, apparently. And mashed bananas. So last step before putting it on pie crust. Really? Mm-hmm. Just, I need the pie crust to bake. I'm impressed. What are you making now? Um, apple crisp. Apple crisp. So Kennedy's making apple crisp, and she is obviously not a clean up as you go kind of girl. If you see there's bananas and leftover stuff from her banana cream pie. I try to teach her to clean as she goes, but it's so much easier just to clean up afterwards and not worry about the mess. But it gives you more room. So you to bake. So if you end up needing more room, then you clean it. You clean that one area that you need. Huh. Otherwise, you just leave it alone. I like a clean space. That's just me. Um, I guess that's the banana cream pie in there. And she didn't bake it. She cooked it on the stove top. So that's good because it had egg in it. Guys, just like that, the kitchen's getting clean. It's amazing. It's a miracle. Right? Yep. <laughs> Pies are done. Turkey is still frozen. So usually Kennedy and I would prep the turkey the night before, but we're gonna have to try and do it tomorrow morning. I don't know if it will be done in time for us to eat, but whatever, it'll be fine. So you guys, thank you so much. Um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful, very, very happy Thanksgiving. We have so much to be thankful for. We don't take anything for granted. Um, so. We love you guys. We will see you later. Happy Thanksgiving. Good night.